Hi! If you don't already know us, we are the Everywhere family. We live in our RV full-time and we travel the United States. This is our four-year-old son's room and a few weeks ago I posted a video of us redoing it because it came with a couch and we really just didn't like the way that it took up so much space. We also didn't have a very good storage system for his toys so we fixed that and we just wanted to make it something new and different and four-year-old-ish rather than so plain and boring. I knew when we finished that video that his room wasn't done yet and there was still so much to do so I guess this would be a part two. We started by taking everything out of his room so we could apply wallpaper to all of the walls just to add a pop of color and to make it fun. This took way longer than we expected. Honestly, in total, I think it took like five hours. I was shocked at how long it took, but my husband is pretty much a perfectionist, so he took his time and made sure it came out virtually perfect. The hardest part was cutting out around anything that was on the wall. What we're doing right now is cutting around the air vent for his room. There are also three electrical outlets that we had to cut around, so it definitely took time and patience. We wanted to do wallpaper instead of painting it because we didn't want it to be something permanent. One thing about RVs is that the resale value drops drastically if you do anything that permanently changes the way the RV came. So for example, when we removed the pullout couch that originally came with his room, we didn't throw it away. We still have it in the RV garage. So it can always be replaced if we ever want to sell it in the future and the new owners want it how it came. We do have a few things that we are deciding if we want to change, like this built-in dresser. It is great and it fits all of his clothes, but I'm just not convinced that it's the best, most practical option for us. We had tons of comments of people recommending us that we put the dresser in the slide out and put the bed on top of it. And while that would save a ton of room by stacking them vertically, we're just not sure that we want him sleeping on an elevated surface just yet. And again, we don't want to change the RV permanently. We're not sure that we could move the dresser into the slide out and then back to the position that it's in without causing any damage. I also got a few comments about using the modular couch as his bed. Not many, but of course there will be someone who complains about it and says to get him a real bed. So I wanted to address that. First of all, he's four. He weighs less than 40 pounds and he has plenty of room to grow into it. It is very comfortable, even for an adult. He loves it and if at any point he doesn't love it, we will definitely change it back to an actual bed. It also doubles as a play area. There are so many ways that you can design this and set it up and he loves putting it up like a fort. After the wallpaper was up, we put everything back into his room and this is what it looks like. This is also what I mean by setting it up like a fort. But again, I still thought it was just missing something. So we decided to put up a chalkboard. It completely transformed this blank wall into such a fun area for him to learn. I got these ABCs and 123s wallpaper border from Amazon and it is so cute. I really love it. I think it changes the whole room. We also got some chalkboard markers from Amazon that you can write on this chalkboard with and they wash off very easily. When we were finished, we wrote a little note on it because he was taking a nap and when he woke up, he absolutely loved his room. I am so obsessed with this chalkboard. He is so obsessed with this chalkboard. I feel like it was such a fun, unique thing to add to his room. This is the final look of his room. What do you think? Do you think we did a good job? I think it looks amazing and I'm so proud.